Welcome back to my channel. This story was penned by Ryan Gatos in Fox News. Carlos Sam Marie Ulberg, born November 17, 1990, is a New Zealand professional mixed martial artist. He currently competes in the light heavyweight division in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC. Ulberg was born in New Zealand to parents of Samoan, Maori and German descent. His father was a boxer who represented Samoa at the Commonwealth Games. He was raised by a foster family in South Auckland from the age of four and attended Hillary College throughout his upbringing. Wilberg competed at Dana White's Contender Series 34 on November 4, 2020 and earned himself a UFC contract via a first-round knockout of Bruno Oliver Wilberg made his UFC debut on March 6, 2021 at UFC 259 where he faced Kennedy Nzachukwu. Wilberg had Nzachukwu in trouble early with a flurry of strikes but quickly became exhausted and ultimately lost the fight via knockout in the second round this fight earned him the Fight of the Night award. Wilberg faced Fabio Charant on February 12, 2022 at UFC 271. He won the fight via unanimous decision. Wilberg faced Tafin Chukwi on June 25, 2022 at UFC on ESPN, Sarukian vs Gamrot. He won via TKO in the first round. Wilberg faced Nikolai Negumarianu on November 12, 2022 at UFC 281. He won the fight via knockout in the first round. Wilberg faced Iyer Pateria on May 13, 2023, at UFC on ABC4. He won the fight via technical knockout in the first round. This win earned him the Performance of the Night Award. Wilberg faced Dion Young on September 10, 2023, at UFC 293. He won the fight via a rear naked choke submission in round 3. Wilberg was scheduled to face Dominic Reyes on January 20, 2024, at UFC 297. However, in late December 2023, it was announced that the match was off due to an injury sustained by Wilberg. The pair was rescheduled to meet at UFC on ESPN 54 on March 30, 2024. However, on January 23 it was announced that Reyes had withdrawn from the fight and was replaced by Alonzo Menafield. On February 20, 2024, it was reported that the fight against Menafield was rescheduled for UFC on ESPN 56 on May 11, 2024. Wilberg knocked out Menafield 12 seconds into the first round. This fight earned him another Performance of the Night award. It took Carlos Wilberg longer to walk into the UFC octagon on Saturday night in St. Louis than it did to knock out his opponent, Alonzo Menafield. The two fighters touched gloves in the middle of the cage and it was Menafield who went on the attack first. However, he tripped and fell into the cage. It allowed Ulberg to launch into fists of fury. Ulberg connected with a left and stunned Menafield. Ulberg hit Menafield with a right and the number 11 ranked light heavyweight fighter fell onto his back. The referee then stopped the fight. The entire bout lasted about 12 seconds. It was the third fastest light heavyweight knockout in UFC history. It was Ulberg's sixth consecutive win dating back to March 2021, when he lost to Kennedy Nzachukwu via knockout. Menafield came into the bout with wins in four of five fights with a draw in the middle against Jimmy Crute. We knew he was going to come forward, Ulberg said, via MMA fighting. So I just had to do what I had to do. He did catch me, that woke up and when you wake a lion up, he comes up. Anybody in that top 10, I'll destroy anybody in my way. Wilberg wasn't listed in the light heavyweight rankings going into the fight. He and everyone else are looking up to champion Alex Pereira. Yuri Prochaska is the top contender for Pereira's belt. He earned an extra $50,000 for his quick finish, according to SureDog. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content. Please support my channel and send it to Cash App, Director327, thank you for your gift it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.